Hey guys, Mary Language here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm gonna be reviewing this book. I'm gonna just start off by saying that it's kind of a hard one to review because it's so good and it's packed full of good stuff and I just, I just can't talk about everything. So I wanna keep this as brief and to the point as possible. So I'm gonna jump right in. So how I found this book. Um, I was listening to a podcast um, I started listening to this podcast called Art Juice in 2020. Um, I was pregnant with my first son at the time, first baby at the time. If you haven't heard of Art Juice, by the way, go check them out. You can pretty much find them anywhere you'd find podcasts. Um, but it's Alice and Louise um, who are the hosts and they are both from the UK and they're both amazing artists and it's just a podcast about them sort of talking about the creative life and painters and struggles and all these things and it's just it feels like you're sitting down with a cup of tea with them talking to them um, about their creative process and art and give them a like and a listen. <laughs> I decided to message them because I was in this stage of life where I had just had a baby and I'm a new mom and I have always been an artist and always had an art business and always been teaching and painting and I wasn't sure how they were gonna balance but I also knew that I had to make both of them work together otherwise I was gonna fall apart. <laughs> so that was a big reason why I reached out to them um, was to first off tell them like how great their podcast was. It was so just down to earth and real and encouraging and inspirational and I just they just were inspired by that and they they shared that comment that I sent them via email in that podcast whatever number that was that week. Alice shared this book with me saying Mary please look into getting this book because it's full of people just like you. Moms that are artists. That's what this that's what this is. This is a bunch of real people <laughs> being interviewed, asked questions about how they balance being a mom and an artist. So, I just finished this recently and it's 2023 right now, the beginning of 2023. So, it took me about 2 years to read this guy, but it was worth it. And um I just want to share with you some of my thoughts, some of my the highlights, the reason why I liked it, how it helped me, what it made me think about, all that stuff. Motherhood is hard, right? If you're a mom and you're watching this, you know that. Parenting is hard, not just motherhood, but being a parent is hard. Being a creative person and having a creative hobby or habit or career is also very hard. And when you put the two together, it's extremely hard. But when you make it work, it's extremely satisfying and super exhilarating. Like I can't really describe it unless, I mean, you know what I mean. You know what I'm talking about. So this book really is, it's like, <laughs> It's just like sitting down with a bunch of women that are like you, but not too much like you because that would be boring. Um, and just talking about like life as a mom and the struggles with that and the beauties, uh, beauty of that. And then life as a, cre as a creative and someone who's creating constantly and wants to be creating, but has this pull, push and pull of being a mother and raising a family and taking care of a house and the challenges with all of that. It's, it's really, it's just, it's encouraging to hear all these women doing the same thing, you know, even though it's different, they're doing it slightly differently. It's all, it's all the same thing. You're not in it alone. And that's what I felt reading this was I'm not alone. There's other people out there that are doing this and that's really encouraging. So it was, it's conducted in sort of an interview style where they ask an artist a question, those pink questions, I don't know if that's hard to say, and then they answer them. And then there's pictures of them with their work and them with their children and they'd be different aged artists with lots of different types of styles of work, um, different aged kids, different amounts of kids. Um, and so you get a whole variety of what life looks like for these women. It's practical advice. It's honest. Some of them are coming back to art after having taken a long break. Um, you know, or maybe they sort of visited it as a younger person and then became a mom and like really dove into it. And so there's a variety of just like backgrounds to these different artists. And it, what I found interesting is that a lot of these artists are finding very similar ways to make it work. You know, we're all using nap time to create in our space or our studio or our kitchen table or um, we're using bedtime or we're getting a babysitter 
we're creating with our kids like around us. I, a lot of that was repeated quite a bit. Like you saw sort of a theme between how they're, how they're accomplishing it, which I thought was really cool. One of the quotes in the book says, there is certainly no one size solution to making an art practice work for motherhood. But for me, it's really been powerful to help me realize what I am capable of. And I can't say that any better, so there you go. They each understand like, you know, one of the questions that, that would be asked some of these artists was, what does flow mean to you? What does being in the flow mean to you? You know, everyone had a slightly different interpretation, of course. But a lot of what motherhood is, is you're constantly being interrupted from that flow. Um, sometimes you don't get that flow. Sometimes you have to do these quick little spurts of like creativity and then, you know, flow sometimes doesn't happen in the same way or it's it's hard to get to that same level of of just constant uninterrupted creativity. and. And so it was just interesting to see that you don't have to have flow to be creative and you don't have to try to make that a goal and yet you're also gonna get that again eventually, you know? And it can be frustrating when you don't get that flow. And a lot of what motherhood is, is being able to multitask and do a lot of things at once, you know? So you're only given these little amounts of time and you have to use those little amounts of time as best you can, you know, to be able to create what you wanna create. And this book was just a great reminder of that and a good example of how other women are making that work. You know, I want my life to be a beautiful balance between all of my loves. And this book just helped remind me that, you know, yes, it's achievable, but there's also going to be bad days. There's going to be sick days. There's going to be long, hard days. There's going to be little to no sleep. There's going to be all this is going to come and go, right? And we need to really give ourselves grace and rest through it. Um, I heard somewhere that you only have little kids for like four years. That's four years per kid. Um, and sometimes that overlaps, you know, those years overlap if you have multiple kids. And like, that's not very long if you really think about it. You know, when you're in it, yes, I get it. I'm in there right now. I have a, I have a five month old and a two and a half year old. Like it feels like it's never ending and there's always from one thing to the next. And, and well, that's, true you know you're always going to have kids you're never going to have little kids and they're never going to be around you interrupting you all the time you know so i try to remind myself of those moments where i in the future i'm going to be able to have flow and be creative and be uninterrupted i'm going to have this little ache this little like oh i miss my kids or like oh there's not a crying baby <laughs> in the background <laughs> won't that be nice or you know all those little things that bother you now are not going to be a bother later um, and so like as a mom of young kids trying to embrace that and not push it away, I think is really helpful. And this book just really touched on that. You know, before kids, I wasted so much time. I wasted so much time and I complained a lot. <laughs> And it's weird that when you become a parent, you realize you can't mess around. You can't complain because your kids are complaining all the time. I've painted more than I ever have before being a parent. Um, what did I, what was my excuse before kids? I don't know, but it's, it's a weird contrast um, between before kids and after kids and how you manage your time. Cause I feel like I've managed my time so much better being a parent than I did before. As a mom, I don't get in the studio as much as I'd like to, obviously. But one thing that I read in the book was that, you you know, your heart kind of grows fonder with, with distance. And there's something about, you know, your brain is constantly thinking of ideas, new paintings, new series, new classes, new whatever it is that you, are working on and your mind's just constantly going on these different things and you're like oh when I get to this studio I know exactly what I'm gonna do you know you, you kind of have this this plan you have a direction you have this fire this passion that you're ready to create and I feel like I never had that before being a parent um, and that's something to just cherish you know being a mom because it's like I have that drive I don't know and then when I get to be able to be in the studio and paint and work on the stuff I want to work on then you know it makes me a better parent because I've I've kind of released some of that tension of like um, being able to create what was in my head, <laughs> get it out on paper or canvas, and then being able to like nurture and care for and laugh and play with my kids. That contrast is so beautiful and life is so rich when I have that that combo, you know? You can see from this book that like all these women are making amazing art. Um, because they're making that happen, you know, they're and, and they're loving that journey of like being able to 
be there for their kids, birth kids, to birthing, <laughs> creating, bringing into existence art that's never been seen before, you know? So it, it was just good book. It's a good book. <laughs> Some questions that they asked that I wanted to share with you um, that I thought were just really insightful, really um, inspiring and kind of interesting to think about for yourself. Um, I know I've, I've thought of them for myself, so I thought I'd kind of just read some of those, add a few comments, um, and hopefully that inspires you. And I hope that you can get this book. I'll put the link down in this, the description so that you can purchase it for yourself on Amazon or put it on your Christmas list as I had done in 2020. Um, and um, I hope you'll give it a read. But here we go. What do the easy times look like? Because a lot of times we get stuck on the negative of like, what, what are the hard, we know what the hard seasons look like and we like are afraid of those and those come up and we're like, oh, we dread, you know, those seasons. But like, what do the easy days look like? And how can we, you know, pursue that on a daily basis or get little glimpses of that in every day? What themes or ideas do you explore in your work? And I kind of like that one because it was interesting to, to, to hear the answers from the artists in the book you know, a lot of times nurturing and mothering was a theme in their work, but it didn't have to be, it, you know, it wasn't a necessity to be an artist and a mother, but um, it was it was interesting to see the themes that did come up. Um, and I find that for myself, you know, I paint a lot of landscapes and clouds and there's this airiness and there's this, you know, looking to God, looking higher, looking above, not, not dwelling so much on, you know, the struggles of right now, <laughs> but also like, we're here right now, that's all we have is right now. I don't know, so anyway. What has your role as a mother taught you about yourself? Lots of things, very little patience. It's probably my biggest thing. You realize what matters to you too. Disappears, you're like, mm, this is what matters. What does self-care look like to you? This was a big one. And I, I liked, this was just a glimpse into some of the questions that they do ask, you know, real life questions. Like they'd ask about depression and baby blues and you know, the hard stuff, not just like, oh, the fancy little, oh, how do you do art with kids? It's no, how did you get through those moments of real sadness and depression and like a feeling of loss, you know? Cause you kind of do lose a little piece of yourself when you first become a mother. Cause you're like, this is my new job, but who am I? What? was I like, you know, you lose a little bit of that. And so there is a little bit of loss, a little bit of grieving, a little bit of re identifying who you are in some ways. And so they addressed those questions and they, they didn't shy away from that. And I thought that was really, really cool. Do you have moments or resentment or wanting freedom? Almost every artist was asked this one and every artist <laughs> I think said yes. <laughs> Uh, which at first, you know, you feel guilty. You're like, oh, I don't wanna wanna come across like I don't love my kids or want my kids or whatever. But it's not that, it's just this feeling of like, you know, when you wanna work on something really badly and you don't have the time or your kids are too little or you're exhausted or whatever, you can't get the help you need to go work on that thing. You do feel like you've lost some of your freedom and that's okay to admit. <laughs> Cause it's true, you have. But you have to remind yourself that it's, it is a season and it's not gonna be forever. One of the quotes, this is not a question, but one of the quotes says, you're doing the most important work there is. Whatever you do on the side, being a mother is huge. I can do stuff, a lot of stuff, a lot of different stuff, all at the same time. <laughs> That is so true. The multitask life of a mother is so real. Baby on the hip, dishes, making dinner, having stuff in your head about what you wanna create. It's all happening at once. But then it's followed up by a quote similar to this. But when life is crazy, 15 to 20 minutes will get you somewhere. Remembering that even in the seasons that are really hard, you know, you might not have a few, you might have a few days where you don't create, but when you do, like it doesn't have to be this long, like full day thing or even like a few hour thing. It can be 15 minute chunks, you know, of like, I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna doodle something. I'm gonna sit down and blop some paint down. Give yourself a, an avenue to be able to create quick, easy work or to only spend 15 minutes really fast doing something. You know, a lot of times I spend the beginning of a nap time in the studio painting. Cause it's like, if I can just have 15 minutes before the baby wakes up, to do that, I will feel so much better. 
<laughs> than if I tried to quick do the dishes and then get to the studio and then five minutes later the baby's crying. You know, like there's little things like that. It's like, what do you need to do for you to create that space to create? And the last one is parenting makes you efficient. And I, I've already said this, is my time management has been so much better being a parent and I've gotten way more done. I've painted way more than I ever have. It's what, how you use the time you're given, um, the resources you have to make it work, you know? All that to say, <sighs> great book. There's a lot more I could share, a lot of quotes I could share. I took notes while I read the whole thing, um, but I hope you'll check it out, especially if you're a mother or an artist out there. Um, mother and an artist out there. <laughs> or if you know someone who is, this is a great, great, great gift. So um, check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. Please give me a like, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and comment if you'd like to. And I'd love to um, hear what you have to say, your thoughts on the book. Maybe you read it. But we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.